In a few seconds, we're going to talk about writer's block. More specifically, what I do to unblock it. Hi, I'm John Gilstrap, author of the Jonathan Grave Thriller series, and I don't think there's a writer out there that hasn't soon, at one point or another, uh, encountered some form of writer's block. Now, writer's block, I guess everybody has a different definition for it. For me, it means showing up at your desk in the morning and not really being sure what it is you want to write about. Or, another version of it is, you're in the middle of a story, <clears throat> excuse me, and you find yourself stuck in the middle of the plot and you're not sure how to write yourself out of it. Well, there is one way that has worked for me for 18 books, and that is to the, go to the old-fashioned manual methods. And that is a fountain pen and paper. Every book that I've written, certainly in the last 10 or 15 years, every book has its own notebook. The notebooks are my go-to uh, resource. If, if I get jammed up and for some reason the, the thoughts aren't flowing very well, I take my book, I open it up, I take my fountain pen, it's got to be good pen, it's got to be good paper, and once I start putting pen to paper, things start to flow. I don't understand why. I don't understand anything about what I do. All I know is that for me, it always works. And the cool part of it is that once you uh, establish, once, once you write it down in permanent form, in your own handwriting, there's actually a permanent record of what it is you've written. In this day and age, you know, manuscripts go away. Um, it, you, you type on a, on a word processor and all of the changes overwrite the previous manuscript. So there's really no permanent record of how, uh, as a writer, how my thoughts evolved over the course of a book. Obviously I know that at the time when I'm writing that book, but you look back over 10, 15, or 20 years and you sort of lose what the evolution cycle was. And what's nice about keeping these, these, these permanent records, these paper records, um, is not only do I know what I wrote and what the original draft looked like, but I also document where I was when I wrote that section. Now, not every book, I don't write the entire book longhand, certainly not, but there are significant passages where I do. And when I do that, I start out, you're not going to be able to read this, uh, even if you could read it, you couldn't read it because my handwriting is horrible. But this one comes from Grave 2. I didn't even have a title for it yet. It was Hostage Zero when it finally came out. And I wrote this section in Carmel, Indiana on July 21, 2009 at the Doubletree Hotel. I used to travel a lot. Um, this one here, just randomly marked pages before we started here. August 22, 2015, Lombardi's Restaurant in Appleton, Wisconsin. This is a bit, it starts around page 350 of Friendly Fire. And it goes like that for every book. And there's something, I don't, like I said, I don't understand what it is, but there's something about the physical contact of the pen on the paper. For me, it gets the thoughts flowing. So if you find yourself caught in a crack, if you are a writer and you find yourself caught in a crack, close the computer, walk away, Go to a restaurant, go to a different place, sit down, and see if that doesn't work for you. It's always worked for me. So, I hope you enjoy these videos. And if you do enjoy them, please subscribe to them at Author John Gilstrap or like my Facebook page, which is John Gilstrap Author. If you don't do any of that stuff, as always, please take care and please keep reading. I'm John Gilstrap.